everyone. I'm not really showing my face because I'm... Yeah, my face is pretty puffed. I'm back again with my uh, Cookie Monster PJ. So there is this thing called crow waffle. Basically, you're using a dough for croissant in a waffle maker and sort of making it look like waffle, but it's actually croissant. Um, this one is a big size dough and I remember they also had the mini sized ones so if I bought the mini ones I would have used like two to three I guess but since it's pretty big I think one would be enough yeah yesterday I made two and it was sort of too much to me so I'm gonna be making that it looks pretty weird right now because I used like two, but if you kind of unroll this thing, am I unrolling it right? I don't know, it's sort of sticky. Yeah, it looks like those triangles, and you kind of rip that part out and make a croissant. Roll it like that. Um, hold on. Yeah, you just roll it like that. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, I can't do anything about it and I don't think the shape really matters because it's going to look like waffle anyways, right? Yeah. For the waffle maker, this is how it looks like. I usually put the dough inside and it'll just beep beep and then yeah, I take it out. But since my purpose for using the waffle maker is to make it like waffle, I'll have to kind of lay this down, you know, and sort of squish it like that, yeah. Not even holding the camera in it, so I'll just squish it. So I ate my crow waffle, it was nice. Um, I am actually going to bleach my eyebrows because I feel like I have to. Um, I do it every, I don't know, like once a month I guess or once every two months or something, yeah. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I've been kind of sick and tired of making home body vlogs. I'll be honest. Ever since this, you know, quarantine pandemic, I've been filming home body vlogs all the time. I've been filming indoor videos. And usually, I would say that indoor videos are harder to film than the like getaway vlogs or something. If you actually go outside, it's sort of like you're shopping and having fun, but also vlogging at the same time. Home body vlogs are just sort of like you gotta kind of think about what you should do at home when you don't really do anything, in fact. Yeah, I was really struggling about coming up with content and I just felt like I was filming the same thing over and over again. Kind of getting out of ideas and yeah. But I'll try to make this vlog fun as much as possible. Also, updates on my room. Let me tell you, there are a lot of people asking for a new room tour. And first of all, in order to film a room tour, I gotta kind of finish decorating and kind of get rid of all those weird 
blank spaces. I was actually planning to decorate quite a lot, like I have a huge room makeover um, during the spring break. I think I might move around fall this year. Since I'm kind of in grade 11, getting ready to go to like college and you know stuff, so I just don't have that much motivation I would say. It's kind of like even if I do a huge room makeover, uh, I won't be living in this room for that long. I'll probably, you know, move into somewhere else one day. And now I think it's kind of meaningless to do all the decorations and all that, so... I don't know. Yeah. But I do really want to have, like, a new room tour and kind of decorate it as what I want. But then at the same time, I'm sort of like... Is it necessary? Yeah. Anyways, um, I look weird, but please ignore. <laughs> I have like an exciting news. I don't know if it's exciting for you guys, but I am going to be doing this certain thing, certain activity next week. And I'm really excited slash nervous about it because it's like my first time doing it and I've always wanted to do it. I won't be telling you guys what it is until my next vlog or next next vlog, I don't know, that, until I actually do it and, you know, um, post a vlog about it, so, yeah. Alright guys, so I bleached my eyebrows. It's lighter than before if you guys can notice. And I also did my makeup and I styled myself because I decided to film an Instagram reel <laughs> again. I'm actually going to film a reel about my favorite Instagram filters. I actually have a lot of Instagram filters saved on my account. Sometimes I do use them on my stories, but I felt like it would be much better to kind of, you know, share the good things. Yeah, I have like a lot right here, so I'll probably be using them. Honestly though, I think the hardest thing about um, filming a reel or a lookbook or something like that, it's always the background music. I don't prefer using like overrated songs. Um, those songs that everyone's using on TikTok or Reels. I tend to use the songs that I personally listen to quite often and I have no idea what I should do for this one. I'll just do this one. You know, it's always kind of embarrassing to film myself filming something because like I'm kind of alone in my room talking in front of the camera and filming my stuff. Yeah. Hi right, guys, so I finished filming my Instagram reel. Yeah, it's just a video of me using a bunch of Instagram filters. I started reading this webtoon, this webtoon, and this one. They're all good. Yeah.
Alright guys, so we're kinda outside. I'm in a car. Um, my mom is at my grandma's house. My dad was gonna pick her up, but I decided to go with Bobo. Every time I go outside, whether if I go outside to hang out with the people I know or, you know, kind of go outside like this, I always dress up so that I have photos to post on my Instagram. Yeah, so I'll probably be asking my mom to take like a bunch of photos of me again. be making a cream cheese pound cake. Cream cheese pound cake is one of those uh, pound cakes that I like to bake so it's pretty easy to bake as well. I'm gonna be using Hanze, YouTuber Hanze's recipe, this one. Yeah, it's pretty much gonna go the same. sugar or whatever you know honestly like visual and whatever I don't really care about it if it tastes pretty much the same I guess it doesn't really matter every time I bake like something's going wrong or I can feel it but I kind of make it like I end up finishing the whole baking process, it's just uh, getting there is kind of weird.
so soft. I don't know if it's supposed to be soft, but... Mm. <laughs> I should have put more cream cheese in, honestly. It kind of tastes like nothing. Hold on. But overall, it turned out pretty good. I uh, so I finished baking and it's kind of like really late right now. It's almost like it's almost like 1. I'm not sure if I'll be doing that secret activity in my next vlog or not, but stay tuned for that cuz I'll be doing it in one of those next vlogs. So, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and like as well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.